This is how cute the Airbnb is that we're staying at. I thought this was particularly neat. Hey, good morning. It's uh, zero day in Franklin, North Carolina. We're about to go do some shopping. I have to hit the Walmart again for various items. Um, and also the Ingles uh, for, for food and what have you. Um, there's a little uh, interesting like a, a market of some kind just up the street from where we're staying. Say hi. Hello. Um, that we're going to go check out first. And then I've got friends coming up from Atlanta to meet us for lunch and do some hiking maybe. Uh, but we discovered that the only place open on Sunday other than like a Burger King or a Zaxby's is uh, the Lazy Hiker. So it looks like we're going back there. Uh, for lunch. Oh, the pearl, the pearl couscous. Is this the only size, the only flavor? So this is, I'll probably eat one of these as a meal. Get two of those. It's not the same thing. Just cheddar and bacon? Yeah. Yeah, mayo. Mayo is inside. Okay, all right, that's what. So just cheddar and bacon. Is that coming Second day of the Lazy Hiker. It's the only place open on a Sunday, apparently. All right, I'm leaving Winding Stair Gap after a zero day in Franklin, North Carolina. Um, I didn't shoot a lot of footage. Uh, my weekend in Franklin, I will piece it together and see what it looks like. Um, but uh, I'm about to hit the trail for six miles. It's a short day. I swapped my short day because it's going to be extremely cold tonight. And I may be back in Franklin um, tonight because it's going to be in single digits up on the mountain. Um, originally, I had a short day into the NOC, but now I'll do the short day first and then two like 11 mile days from uh, Wyatt Gap to the NOC. So today it's just winding stair to Wyatt Gap. And uh, it'll take me about three hours. I'll throw a lunch break in there. So I'll see you on the trail. Walked right past this a minute ago. I was headed up the road. Well, they told us in the orientation speech down at Amicalola that whenever you pass one of those little pavilions like that, uh, to take a picture of the emergency contact information so you'll have the most recent location information and contact numbers. If you have to call 911, you can tell them where you are based on that, and it's the most most current location so I've been trying to make a habit of that that's something I had never really considered before but that those pavilions provide the local information for emergency contact 
the rest of it's kind of your boilerplate leave no trace information and uh, a map of the area and a little roof to <laughs> get out of the rain sometimes Hey, it is, I forgot to mention on my introduction earlier, it's day 15. Um, I'm making my way up to Siler's Bald, uh, which I don't think the trail goes over Siler's Bald. I think it skirts the edge with a side trail that goes over the bald. Um, I've been hiking for almost an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 20 minutes, and so I'm not quite there yet. Um, my day, I think, consists of hiking up to Siler's Bald and then down to Wyatt Gap. And I think that's the only, it's just one up and one down for the most part. Um, scenery, it's been pretty much this all day so far. Uh, once we break out uh, with some views, I'll, I'll share those. I've run into one hiker going my direction. We, we disembarked from Winding Stair about the same time. Um, he was getting off the shuttle right as I was pulling in. Um, it was one of the hikers from the, uh, we shared the shelter during the thunderstorm on Friday morning. And uh, then we bumped into each other yesterday at uh, the Lazy Hiker Brewery in Franklin. Um, but uh, so far, I have not seen a lot of uh, other hikers yet on trail today. Um, anyway, I'll check back in in a little bit. I guess we're standing at the uh, base of Siler Bald. I don't know if I have the desire to climb that mountain, but I made break here for lunch. So I took a standing and pacing around lunch break at the, where the trail crosses to at Siler's Bald. I did not go up Siler's Bald. Um, it was just too chilly to, sta to stay put for too long. I had just received a message that it is 45 degrees in Franklin which is 10 degrees warmer than it is up here. And if you divide 2,900 feet, excuse me, if you divide 2,900 feet into that, it's three and a half degrees per 1,000 feet colder at elevation. And at similar math, instead of my previously calculated seven degrees at five degrees per thousand, it will be about 12 degrees at the, when the, at the coldest it reaches tonight, which is still plenty cold. Um, after today's little experiment, I will definitely be wearing gloves when I disembark tomorrow morning, because it will probably be around freezing or colder at, in, at uh, Wyatt Gap when I start in the morning. And I will be probably wearing leggings my my legs with the kilt generally fine while I'm walking as soon as I stop though um, I'll lose a lot of heat through my <laughs> bare legs and I get chilly really fast so um, leggings would probably be in order when it's below freezing out here to start anyway Well, the sun finally came out right as I was leaving the Siler's Bald meadow there. Um, the sun started to break through and now it's fully sunny and starting to warm up a little. So I hiked six miles. Take the first exit, Montoya Street. And uh, now we're just knocking around Franklin for the afternoon. I have a lot of uh, food prep, prep and repacking and video editing to do this afternoon, but um, it's such a sunny, beautiful, less cold than in the mountains day down here in town that we're just gonna 
knock around and find some shops to browse and things like that. 